I'm back in Korea for the first time in 15 years. I first went to Korea when I was in the army. I was in the infantry and I was stationed in the mountains so I was unable to see much of the country. But this is my first time coming back and experiencing the city, the culture, the people, and most importantly, the food. Our culinary trip begins in Yongsan, sampling Hangul Goop Pop at one of the older restaurants in Korea. This restaurant has four Michelin stars, which is a great indicator wow. that you're in for a treat. Good morning, chef. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I am wonderful. I'm here in Korea, so I'm great. Uh, to, to have our very first meal in Korea. Very first one. Yeah. Where, are we, where are we at? Where are we going? Here we are at Myeongdong. Myeongdong. In Myeongdong, there are a lot of like old restaurants. Ah. Yeah, and we're about to go one of them. Basically, it's a kukpap. Kukpap. Ah, no kukpap. Kukpap. So it's, this, so it's just right behind you. Oh, this right one? here. This one. Yeah. Ah. So basically, this restaurant has been 80 years about. Wow. About 80, 80 years. And also the red, red, this red signs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this, really? This restaurant is Michelin. Michelin. Ah, yeah. that's amazing. Let's go. <laughs> Chef, how do you like the atmosphere? Here? This atmosphere is, uh, it's. I don't know how to describe it. This is an 80 year old establishment, and you can just feel the ore from it. Wow, look at this. Is this is this like is this like tripe also? Yes, sir. Oh, you know look at that. It <laughs> ah, it's tripe in here as well. Look at this. You see that tripe? Wow. 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 Mm. Even though it has like the natural flavors to it, there's no salt in it, still very flavorful. You know, whatever the beef, the bones, all the broth coming together and pulling up those natural. I put a little salt in here, top it off. Wow. Oh my God. Just that little taste of that salt, just bam. I mean, everything elevate a thousand times. That, like, no, that's crazy. Actually, there are three different types of meats in it. Yeah. Okay, right, that's uh, right. Just, yeah, stomach. The stomach, yeah. okay, and then... You can see this is like whole, like, meat yeah, this without is, fat. Yep, and this one is more... Uh, with the fat. Yeah, yeah. with the fat, yeah. that's striation on it. Let's try this. I'm gonna do a little dip. First. I'm trying to research, yeah. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. I can see why it's Mission Star. I can see why it has such a unique platform to it, as, as my friend uh, Wishon would say. Uh, yeah. Wow. Mission. How the one, number one. You have to try it. I've heard President Park Chung Hee was so in love with this restaurant that he ordered 30 bowls of the soup while on a business trip to Jeju Island. Chef, how are you? Uh, Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he said, wow. Ooh, there he comes. Whoa. Yeah. SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> Did you know the food delivery in Korea has been around since the 1700s? Can you imagine that? We had the pleasure of having a giant meal delivered right to my apartment in Seoul. From fried shrimp to stewed chicken, it certainly be Domino's and Taco Bell. Chef, the name of this jim tak is Shiregi Jim Tak. Shiregi Tak. Shiregi. Shiregi. Jim Tak. Jim Tak. Yeah, it's from the Tuchim brand. Tuchim brand. Yeah, the oh. name of the brand is Tuchim. Yeah. Tuchim. Yeah. Chicken furs. Yeah. Mmm. Smells flavorful. Wow. Mmm. Wow. I see why. Mm -hmm. Wow. The name of Punchbowl is from U.S. military who stationed in Yangu. The region looks like Punchbowl. Oh. So they call started to call Yangu as a punch bowl. A punch bowl. And Yangu is famous for shiregi. Mm. So they put it in together and then they named this menu Yangu Punch Bowl Shiregi Jimta. <laughs> Yangu Punch Bowl Shiregi Jimta. Oh! <laughs> Talking about the military, so oh, that's why I remember nice. the military thing. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I got it. Today, I want to give you a mission, Chef. Could you make a risotto with the sauce of this gym tap? You can use anything inside of the fridge. And with can that, you, a challenge was issued. And I'm always up for a challenge. My friend asked me if I can create a gourmet dish out of a traditional fast food. I said, of course I can, damn it. I'm gonna make this really quick, really easy, and really fast, okay? What else do we have down here? We got some pans. Ah. This'll do.
You wanna cut one? Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Pop the button. <laughs> little pepper right here. Easy. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to get some of my nice saucy sauce right here. Look at that. Wow. It's an extra flavor right here. Very quick, easy, simple. Ten minutes. Anywhere in the world, you can't think of Korea without Korean BBQ. From the incredible flavors, the amazing presentation, to the fun atmosphere, everything was accelerated. Especially being forced to do shots of beer. What many people around the world don't realize is that KBBQ comes in outstanding amounts of forms, flavors, aromas, and styles. Here are just a few of those, from giant slabs of top tier beef, to humongous clams, to delicious pork. No KKBQ experience is complete without copious amounts of beer and something which they call Somac, which is beer with soju. Needless to say, I got my feel. <laughs> That was hard, that was good. After a wild time in Seoul drinking Somac and rubbing elbows with the locals at the KBBQ, I needed something to revive my senses. After a long night of drinking and eating, of course you will need something to cure your ailments. And of course, the answer is more pork. For that, Korean party goers will start the next day with a heavy bowl of hangover soup. Wow, wow. Much different from yesterday. Yesterday, like you said, clean. Today, this, like the spice. Ooh, wow. Bro, look at that meat right here. Wow. Why can't we have breakfast like this in America, in the US? <laughs> I'll be very happy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's so good, so hearty and delicious. The depthness of flavor in here, and just the sauce alone, is phenomenal. Wow. Oh, this is stuff. Mm. Wow, you smashed it. <laughs> that was wow. delicious. If you ever hear, you gotta come here. You wow. gotta try this. Okay. Only though, chat mo Yeah. What's next? <laughs> For what our final stops of this episode, we come to Taejung, which our guide told us is the South Korean capital of boredom. But wherever Chef goes, nothing is boring. For being the boring capital, the flavors certainly weren't. Radish. Radish soup. Ooh, it's refreshing, like a, like a palate cleanser. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Mm. Wow, 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 look at that. Mm. That's a slurper right there. Oh. Mm. 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 That's really good. Wow. I don't know it's a stone, but it has the flavor is just so intense. You know, yeah. you know, not not only because of the stone. You know, it has something unique ingredients in it, which is mushroom shell. Oh yeah, mushroom rice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Here it comes. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, <laughs> I didn't understand anything, but I was interested. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was excited. Yeah. I could see from his facial expressions yeah. and how he, how passionate he was. Yeah, yeah, you know, passionate. If, you know the thing about it is with food is passion. That's what I love about Korea mm -hmm. because I tell everybody you have to come here. Don't just eat the food. Live the story. Yeah. Every bite has a story to it, right. and this goes on. Mm -hmm. Look at this right here. I knew it right away is a bird's nest with the eggs right yeah. here. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. You know that ginseng it was very little. Flavor, right? Strong flavor. It's all the way here. It goes up my nose. Yeah, that's the pork. Oh. Ooh. A little bit of noodles and some meat, Chef. Yeah, meat. And some spring onions. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, nice, Chef. That's it. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's ready. Let's go, Chef. Oh, come back here. <laughs> How was your first meal in Daejeon? This is called the city of, of boredom. City of boredom, yes. But 
they make up for delicacy. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I'll be bored all the time if I can eat like <laughs> this. Bored all the time. Really? Okay. Finally, all good meals and all good trips are best finished with something. So we went big before we went home. This is the famous Korean ice dessert called Bingsu. Cheers. 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 Well, that's good. I mean, it just goes together so much, so well. Look how that is. That looks, that is so delicious. Wow. Rain freeze. <laughs> all in all, there is so much rich culture, food, incredible things to be seen and experienced in South Korea. But the most heartwarming part of my trip were the people.